Hi Capricorn, how's it going? And welcome to your September general reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Capricorn, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Capricorn, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Capricorn, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Capricorn, let's get right into this. Again, this is your September general reading. And y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Capricorn? Again, for September. We just hit Virgo season and we're in the energy of the new moon in Virgo. All right, my loves. Yes! Just winning at life right now. Ten of Pentacles here as your theme for your September reading. Pentacles energy is Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with another Earth sign. This is family. This is lots of money. This is the legacy that you're leaving. This is enough inheritance, money, values to leave multiple generations. This is the everything card. Y'all have it all or you're about to, okay? The connection, the career, the family, everything. Everything that you want, right? Recent past, what's been going on here for Capricorn, please? What's been going on recent past? Devil, you, love been in your truest power. You've been in your, your, your truest form, your highest form, queen of swords, just totally kicking ass and taking names. I do feel a very pure, strong, like cutthroat energy from you today. Like, boom, here I am. Like you're very large and in charge, if you will. <laughs> your own card came out first straight off the gate. You're in your power for sure. What's been going on with Capricorn, please? Recent past, recent past Capricorn, please. We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, definitely taking charge, uh, making up for lost time, Wheel of Fortune. You're kicking ass. You're putting a fire, Seven of Pentacles. Things you've been waiting on, seeds that you planted some time ago, months ago, weeks ago, years ago for some of you. You're taking charge now. You, do you feel this like fiery, confident energy I'm in? Because I'm in your energy. That's you. You're large and in charge. You're like, you know what? I'm going to take control of the situation. I'm going to do things that scare me. These two cards together, even taking the fact that you're Capricorn, looking at the devil and the knight of wands together with the wheel of fortune, you're making up for lost time. You know what? Hey, I've been scared to ask that person out because of X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to be scared anymore. Hey, I want to go apply for that job because I just really think I belong over there. I've been scared. They might say no. They'll probably say no. I'm just going to do it anyways. Like there's something about you that's like you're overcoming your fears. You're kicking ass and taking names. And I love every second of it. It's a very powerful energy. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you've also, for a lot of you, passed some kind of karmic test. Uh, I feel like that's what you're going through now. Like you're overcoming um, some type of test or karmic situation that you were in. What's the current situation for Capricorn, please? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles here. what you've been waiting more waiting for with this page of pentacles i was like this is either you putting yourself out there like i said on hey i want that thing i want to plant that seed i want to invest in that home i want to talk to that person i want to do that thing all those seeds that you planted i feel like with the page of pentacles here you know you're like i'm gonna start doing it i'm gonna start putting one foot forward i'm gonna start getting the ball rolling in a lot of things that i've maybe been pushing off to the side Okay, Eight of Swords to the Five of Cups. I feel like right now um, you're starting to understand the reason why you weren't going for certain things, doing certain things, being with certain people, activating your higher self, just kind of being 
more in the po your power. The reason why you weren't in the past is because Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. You were realizing that you were making decisions out of fear. You weren't doing certain things because you were scared of what other people were th would think. I'm not going to ask that person out because I don't want the neighbors to think I'm a weirdo. Um, I'm not going to start that business because I don't know. It's so competitive. Why would anyone choose me? There's been a lot of self-sabotage, talking your own self, eight of swords. This is where you talk your own self out of a situation or opportunity because it's shallow energy. This is, um, this is that kind of energy where you've kind of been maybe bad talking yourself shallow with yourself telling yourself i can't do it there's no way we've had to really work on turning that game around okay because it's like it's like confidence devil energy you're like you know what like i can do anything i'm the master of everything what's coming in future energy thank you for capricorn ace of cups Definitely new love, new opportunity here. It could be a water a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming in. Uh, exactly. We have the strength card. We just came out of Leo season. So I feel like that was maybe a little bit of a learning lesson. Devil, Page of Pentacles, strength card. In Leo season, transitioning into Virgo season, you're up one. You're up a degree. You're up a level. You got a pay raise. You've learned some stuff. You're the new you. A lot of you, I'm seeing a snake. You've shed your skin and you're like, oh yeah, I'm in my new skin. I better act accordingly. Mm -hmm. And that's tough. That's difficult not to want to weasel back into an old life, not to weasel back into an old skin. It's hard to stay true. It's hard to stay prideful. It's hard to stay in that, that powerhouse energy, okay? Three of Wands, Knight of Cups. There definitely is love, romance, creativity on its way. Again, that's been on the back burner. It's been, um, someone's been procrastinating. You or someone in a connection that you've been dealing with because Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups, and Knight of Cups in this row over here is saying um, there's been some kind of karmic test, lesson, that kind of thing where you've been disappointed, okay? And in the Five of Cups, this is where we let go, okay? Uh, you're tired of maybe picking things back up that don't serve you, coming back to old friends, partners, family members, lovers, situations that is just like, man, I've been here before. I've been here before. This doesn't feel good. I've been here before. It's what I keep hearing you say. So if you're like, you know what? I'm finally going to turn around, pick up these cups and get to my castle, my 10 of pentacles that we talked about. I'm going to get into my castle, my legacy, my comfort zone, my power zone. And I'm going to stop putting these things off. I'm going to stop putting off for some of you. It's like maybe proposing to someone, going deeper in a connection with someone. That's a part of the Ten of Pentacles, having a connection. Ten of Pentacles, you're not in that huge, giant, fabulous home all by yourself. You share it with somebody. Okay. And I feel like that's what we're that's what we're getting to. For some of you, you're realizing, hey, double energy is telling me like, for a lot of you, family feels good, business definitely feels good. You're doing your passions, you're being, you're doing your thing. But I feel for some of you, you're scared of something emotionally. Five of Cups, all this water, that's what scares you. Well, if I'm vulnerable with my friend and tell them da 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 da. -da they're gonna think I'm weird for saying that. If I'm open and vulnerable with the person that I love or that I'm interested in, da, 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 da. well, I've been rejected by them before. I've been rejected before in general, but maybe not by the same person. Some of you have been waiting for someone to come to you. I feel an apology energy with this knight of, uh, I'm sorry, with this page of pentacles. You've been waiting to someone, you, you've you been waiting for someone to go, you know what, Capricorn, I slipped up. I messed up, okay? And I feel like whoever that is or whatever that is for you, that situation, I don't think you're gonna get it. I don't think that you're gonna get it. And I think that's the biggest part of this lesson for you is sometimes we just have to take the high road 
and know who we are and move forward regardless of if we ever have closure from a person or an apology. A lot of you have almost been like, again, in like a career situation, you're like, man, I really would love to go work for that company. I really go, would love to go blah, 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 go sign myself up for blah, 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 whatever that is for you. But there's this devil energy in the past where maybe you've been a little bit too much in your ego and like things can come to me. And yes, our vibe attracts our tribe, but there's something that you really want here that you're learning that, hey, instead of me just sitting here in my power, that's beautiful and that's courageous and all the things, there's been a delay on Knight of Cups, on love, romance, a connection, or someone being emotionally available and emotionally vulnerable. And I think that's you. It is, I felt it. I felt the shift and you're all like, yeah, I know. It's like, again, I'm feeling like career, all these great things are going on. You got your friends, you got your stuff, you got your money, got your everything. But the relationships feel very disappointing. Friendships and love life, five of cups. And I feel like you're waiting for those people to like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, da da da, bo -bo -da, -da -bo -bo, reaching out to you when in fact, strength card, three of wands, nine of cups, you wanna be with those people. Sometimes you gotta jump in the water. Sometimes like, hey, I'm really been waiting for me and this person to work things out. Hey, I'm really waiting for me and that family member to work things out. Hey, I'm really waiting for me and so-and-so to whatever. Instead of the waiting game, this is saying strength card, Knight of cups, jump in the water, go swim over there and go get on your float and go, hey, how are you? I swim over to you. They will love it. They would love it if you swam over to come see them. Do you know what I'm saying? Ace of cups. You're not scared, you got this, you got this. You have a lot of 10 of swords, three of swords, nine of swords. You've been brokenhearted. You've been disappointed in this person, in this situation, time and time and time again. But there's something different here, either about who it is or what it's about. And honestly, I think it has nothing to do with anybody else. And I think it has everything to do with the way you are choosing to show up in your life right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. A lot of you, this is really recognizing, hey, sometimes, sometimes, double knight of wands, sometimes I scare people off. Sometimes my energy, my vibe, my confidence, my money, my structure, my business, who I am is so much for people to take on. Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like you're trying to rain people back in and have balance here and really come to a beautiful understanding in a situation. So it's kind of like, let's get back into the energy of love instead of the energy of fear, correct? Yes, let's go deeper. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this deck for you. You do have the beautiful queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That is you and your feminine energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, I'm hearing settling the score. That's what I heard. You're settling the score, two of swords, five of pentacles. You've realized without realizing, but you've realized that five of pentacles, you've been the one outside of your home that you've built. You've been the one on the outskirts, out in the cold, right? Two of swords. You just couldn't see that in the past. You couldn't see it. It's like you built this beautiful giant business home, something wonderful for yourself. You have it all lined up. It's in its powerhouse. It's in it's 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 going the best it ever could. And you're just like, yeah, everyone's in there, but why can't I come in there? You built it. You have the key to it, my friend. You have the key to it. You built this place. You built this home. You built that business. You built that thing. Devil energy. You powered it up. Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. But there was something about an action. I, I am hearing now that I think you scared something off or scared someone off. You're in a business, hey, we're this big old cool business, da, 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 da. and there's something, someone that you wanted to work with you and partner with you, but there is an approach, an action that you or someone else took that scared someone off. And it could be roles, could be vice, could be vice versa. You could be dealing with someone you're like, yeah, I want to partner with them, but their fucking ego is way too much. I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm going to go do my own thing. Right? Someone's ego was very loud in the recent past. And it's kind of like 
strength card, page of pentacles, three of wands, nine of cups. And now instead of beating around the bush, we're starting to address the real issue, which is love. <laughs> it's how we feel. Let's go back. What's this devil about for you, Capricorn? Recent past. Straight out the gate, your own card. Damn. Why has the devil been here for Capricorn, please? What is this? Eight of Swords, Four of Wands. El Diablo again. You again. Some of you are definitely dealing with another Capricorn or someone with a fuck ton of, of Earth in their chart. Four of Wands. This is, a, this is either talking about your job or relationship for a lot of you. And you're having a hard time looking deeper into one of the two, if not both. Oh, nailed it. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Y'all didn't want y'all didn't want me to say that. Yep, Five of Pentacles again. You've built something great for yourself, but you keep yourself locked out. You've built yourself a uh, double double and the four of wands is like you and someone in a relationship. It's like, man, we're obsessed. We think about each other all the time, Seven of Swords. But we're both not addressing the elephant in the room, if you will. Um, yeah, I feel for a lot of you, yeah, there's something that you're avoiding in, in a commitment, four of wands, in a commitment, something that you have signed up for. You're not addressing it, addressing it. You're, oh, I'm not going to address that today. You've been avoiding it. You've been walking on eggshells in a relationship or someone's been walking on eggshells with you. Knight of Wands, what is this recent past? Fire energy, very bold. Um, this is our player. Death, rebirth, Scorpio energy, three of swords. Yikes. Ouch. Empress. Mmm. Someone hurt the Empress. Knight of Wands, what is this? Capricorn, what is that about? Justice. It was, uh, it was coming. It was coming, Eight of Wands. <sighs> Someone popped off <laughs> in the recent past. Someone that you're with for a lot of you. Hey, I don't like this. Hey, I'm suspicious. Someone's like, someone, it's about 10 of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Someone did or said something that was very hurtful could have been a breakup it could have just been someone that they said or did something that was like man i cannot believe you just did that someone did or said something very painful it caused a lot of pain maybe heartbreak maybe even some type of breakup for some of you okay someone acted a fool that's all i know but with the justice card showing up card of libra it was bound to happen it was bound to happen They're showing me, and please drink responsibly. They're showing me, for example, say you know someone and they drink a lot and they get in the car and they drive. And you're like, man, one of these days, something's gonna happen. One of these days, something's gonna happen. Well, shit, something happened, okay? It, it's something like that. It's like you knew Something there, ma, it's gonna knock on. That's not gonna go, that's not gonna last forever. That person can't do that for forever. Maybe you, I can't be doing this for forever. And then boom, the inevitable happened, did it not? All right, what's this Wheel of Fortune? Recent past Capricorn. Ooh. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Oh! King of Swords. Oh my God. Five of Pentacles again, five, five, five. I can almost, I could almost put money on the fact that y'all been seeing five, five, five. If that is not a sign, Hierophant, Taurus, coming into Taurus season, you have had to deal with an ungodly amount of changes in the recent past. Last couple days, week, week or so for a good group of you, whenever you're seeing this. Five, 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 five of swords, five of wands, five of pentacles. Ouch.
this is a hot mess. This is what did I do? What did they do? How do we get it back together? I don't know. Everything is now, I just see dispersed. I see everything going in a million pieces. You. But that was a part of karma. Someone's karma caught up with them, did it not? That person that you knew was in trouble got themselves in trouble. Did they not? They did. Could also be you. This is your reading. Page of Pentacles. Now here's the apology. Here's the lesson. Here's, ah, I got in trouble. I better fucking learn. That's either you or somebody. Let's check it out. What's this Page of Pentacles about for Capricorn? Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about you. It's about you. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Some of you built that house, bought that house, got in that relationship, did all things, and you are sleeping on the couch, my friend. Or you're staying in a hotel, you are somewhere else. You are displaced. Or you displaced somebody else, Queen of Swords. Get out. Get out. It's cold. It's cold energy. It's a cold hearted thing to say. Communication. I think that's actually already happened and this is the, hey, can I come back in? Hey, I want to work on things. Hey, remember that plan that we had? Hey, hey, this is the, hey, hey. The displacement has already happened in the Wheel of Fortune. You and someone are definitely not on good terms, without a doubt. Either like you and a partner, you and a, someone very significant in your life, or this is about you and your career. And this is you kind of coming full circle and go, I'm sorry, what did I do? I had the relationship, the career, I, I, I had it all. Did we start with the Ten of Pentacles? Did we not? Had it all. Someone threw it away. Eight of Swords, and now we're caught in the loop of why did I do that? Two of Pentacles. Some of you had two situations, two people. Um, tower blew up in your face. Or, so, or you found out about a tower. Or you found out about something. Tower here. This was like, man, it was coming. Knight of Swords lovers. Moon card. Someone was keeping some, some secret secret. Moon card, Pisces, Cancer energy. But this is things, situations, events that happen at night where we cannot see fully and clearly. Two of Pentacles. Too much going on at night. Too many options at night. That kind of vibe here. Okay. Seven of Wands. Someone says, don't, you know, I don't want to mess with that. That's too much fire here. Someone got caught in a situation where they were, they had too much going on. They had, someone had two options. Someone was keeping a secret. Moon card, strength card, Three of Pentacles. During Leo season, there were some arrangements or rearrangements happening in a situation that someone else didn't want to be a part of. Why the Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups? You're having a hard time looking at this because you know that this person and or situation did make you very, 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 very fulfilled and happy. So that's why you're playing the Seven of Wands game. You know? I didn't do anything. Okay. What's this Five of Cups? Very sad disappointment. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Crying over spilled milk, to be honest. Hermit in Virgo season, Nine of Cups. Yeah. Some of you are in Virgo season, Nine of Cups, going to become free from a situation, might be single from a situation on your own now from a situation five of cups capricorn ace of swords king of pentacles and realizing that you can do you can do this by yourself some of you were in some kind of codependent situation relationship um connection something like that and you're realizing i don't need that person after all someone also in virgo season is going to have a wake up call about you and realize that you are their wish fulfillment. Can I get one more on that? What is that? 
Ace of Swords, what is that for that person? What did I literally just say? The sun came out. In Virgo season, this is your September reading, or in Virgo. We're at the tail end of August technically right now. We're moving into September. Hermit came out, Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords. Someone's realizing that they didn't speak up before. They're realizing, oh my God, Capricorn is the one, Nine of Cups, that makes me happy. They're going to put the sun back. You are someone's light. So everything I said, this could be the shoe could be on the other foot. This could be someone who you're in a partnership with and you caught them doing some shit and you know what I mean? And now they're out on, you know, with, out on their butt, out on their own. And it's, of course, Hermit, as soon as they're on their lonesome, they're like, oh my God, I really fucked up. Capricorn is the one for me. You know what I mean? Strength card, what is this? Leo energy? Yeah, five of cups again. King of pentacles, six of swords, double. Someone's like, yeah, it's you. You're, you're still the one. Oh, Shania Twain, I love that song. You're still the one. The only one I dream of. Yeah, you and someone basically are having a real hard time. I think you're going to be okay. Like it got real, what is it? Touch and go there where you think you almost lost the person, lost the situation, lost the relationship, lost the friendship, lost the job. Almost. Almost. Yeah, almost. You're you you're learning for whatever this is for you specifically that you have to take the hybrid here. King of Pentacles, Six of Swords on the strength card, five of cups. Have you been dicked over in this situation yup have you cried about this and been really upset and been let down yup but for you to pack up and move on for something that you know you've already built and want to continue to be a part of it's about chin up chin up chin up i need to understand my part i need to learn the lesson everything's not always everyone else's fault i know what role i played and now we can in harmony and balance move forward now got it three of wands what have you been waiting on? Eight of Pentacles, someone to show up, someone to get to work. And I'm sorry, but it's you, babe. Eight of Pentacles, the devil with the King of Cups. You showing up in a, like I said, a more emotionally available, more emotionally in tune, addressing your emotions. Eight of Pentacles, you and the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Sure, could you be dealing with the water sign here? Yes. Could you have been waiting on a water sign? or deepening a, deepening a connection with some someone, yes. But I also feel specifically tied to you that we've all been waiting for you. We've all been waiting for you. Eight of Pentacles, Double King of Cups. We've been waiting for you to open that heart, okay? Not be so on lockdown. Stop comparing your current friends to the friend that burnt you a long time ago. Stop comparing your current loves or lovers or relationship to a person that fucked you over in the past. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you do already have it all. You just have to remember that and do some more healing and grind and dig a little bit deeper to find out the role that you also played in this situation. Nine of Swords. And I feel like you're gonna understand and maybe have some sleepless nights and go, yeah, I've been doing X, Y, and Z and that hasn't been helping me out to get to wherever you're trying to go here. The delay has been your blocked off, closed heart. Knight of Cups, maybe you're gonna open up now. What's this Knight of Cups for Capricorn, please? Oh yes. Oh yes. Yep. Oh. Oh. Why do these last messages always make me wanna fucking cry? Knight of Cups. King of, I'm um, sorry, Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Empress. Remember, like I said earlier, I was like, someone hurt this Empress, Divine Feminine. 
someone really had to go through some maternal issues, reheal their mother wound. Someone, a lot of you that I'm connecting with, never got the nurturing, the deep, unconditional love and care, either from your mother or a mother type figure, so it could be a father with a lot of feminine energy. You are currently, finally, whoever I'm connecting with, opening up a space in your heart and being more open and vulnerable in everything that you do, in your creativity, in your conversation, in your life, in the way that you dress, in the way that you show up, in the way that you do everything, because you're finally being the mother for you that your mother never could. You're finally being the father for yourself that your father never could. Do you catch my drift? Male, female, <clears throat> get rid of the gender. You know what I'm saying. Do we see this? This four of swords in this deck makes me break down because your heart has been, I can't. Your heart has been displaced. We talk about dis, talked about displacement earlier. It's like, get out, kicked out. Your heart's been out there. Your heart, your heart's been out there. I just am hearing you say no more. Look at that king, that queen of swords. Look at where her heart's been. It's literally been in jail. It's been on lockdown. I guess, like I said, I'm like, oh shit. It's right there. It's literally right there. It's time to open up. It's time to heal yourself, right? Queen of Pentacles, why? Because you're worth it. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups again. Ah! All the feels at the end. We've been missing you so bad. That's all I want to say. We... We, the people, <laughs> we've been missing you. We've been missing that extra oomph from you. We've been missing that extra sensibility, that, that sensitivity. It's been lost for whoever I'm connecting with. It's been lost for a very, very, very long time. I'm so proud of whoever is watching this right now. You've worked really hard to that's why we have the double, double, double. You've mastered your masculine and feminine self. You've rehealed and restructured, reprogrammed. Thank you. That is so difficult to do. You have no idea. Yes, you do. For those of you that know, have done the work, you've reprogrammed, restructured your own brain, your own belief system from how you were probably raised for a lot of you. Someone was cold-hearted. You had a cold-hearted, probably mother figure, or the empress is down here, for a lot of you. Maybe she didn't hug or wasn't as affectionate. You always wanted that. Well, now, why don't you start showing up like that with yourself, with the friends and romantic, the people that you already have right here? Because all that's going to do is just, I don't know, add on and add on more love and add on more community and add on more support and add on more love and connection. And when I say love, it doesn't always have to mean romantic. Let's please get all over, get all get over that part. Thank you. This is a fucking turnaround reading big time. What was lost is now found. Like that's all I know what to say. You were lost and you have found yourself. Yes, you were lost and you have found yourself. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Uh, let's do your cookie card. Those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Capricorn that won the pick a card this time is Jessica Charles. Jessica, you are my winner. Okay, so Capricorn, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. I can tell if you're subscribed or not. There's absolutely no getting around that one. All right, so our pick a card is only for subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. Thank you always Capricorn for your love and support. Um, I'll catch y'all in the love reading or next time. All right, Jessica Charles, how are you my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber that rocks my world. <laughs> got two more for you spirit what are the best and highest messages for jessica charles jessica charles please capricorn energy thank you mm. 
Nine of Wands, you're really up to here in a situation. You could be dealing with a fire sign. You have way too much on your plate, too many responsibilities. Um, I feel like you're suffering from some kind of burnout here, especially like with, you know, work and money and stuff. I just, I should say responsibilities. Mm. Ugh. Yeah, Nine of Wands and Two of Pentacles is like your, your burnout and feeling really just turned off by how much you have to do all the time, right? Jessica. Wow, got the world card out. You're like, and I'm done. You're so over it. You're like, yeah, as I hear you say, as the words come out of my mouth, you're just like, yeah, and I'm done. You're like, so done. I don't even know what this is, but we're gonna see. World card, you're done with whatever this is, Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles, it's right there. There's something that you've been doing something alone, almost like a single parent vibe from you or something like that where you have just so much on your plate where you take care of multiple things or people like all by yourself. Like if no one's giving you a little pat on the back and telling you how badass and amazing you are, please let me be the one to tell you. Look at the new you. Okay, two of wands, two of swords. Jessica, I feel like you're definitely seeing a lot of twos right now. Two, 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 22. That's choice energy, okay? It's like, what do I do about this new offer, this new beginning? Because you've closed a door, so you have a new contract. You have a new way of going about something, um, a new contract. You're still trying to find out the information. Uh, you're excited about this, but I also feel like you're a little bit hesitant about something new here or someone new because you have a suspicion of like player vibe from somebody. Five of Cups full card. I feel like you're letting go of any kind of fears here and really just kind of going for it, whatever that means for you, okay? Nine of Wands, I feel like this is a continuation of some kind of past life uh, karma or situation. What is this world card for Jessica, please? King of Pentacles. Yeah, you maybe you've been at your job for like a long time. Yeah, hangman, high priestess, five of pentacles. I feel like you left either a person, a job, or a situation, and you didn't tell a soul. You haven't you haven't told anybody or you're not going to. Two of wands. You're like, I'm moving, I'm not telling anyone. I left that thing, I'm not telling anyone. You have a higher level of commitment, new opportunity. Yeah, you have opportunity elsewhere. We also have a power couple, the highest couple on top of each other, the high priestess and the hierophant here. And that's the new thing that you're doing. I feel like you have, you're leaving like one commitment for a higher level one. There's certain elements that you're not telling everybody just yet. Magician, you haven't been telling everybody that you even want this actually, five of wands. Two of Swords, Jessica. Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's the same. You, you, nobody know, no one even knew that you didn't like your job. No one even knew that you were bored in your relationship. No one even knew that you were whatever, you know, and then you're like, yeah, as I see you, you've actually met someone or signed up for something or you're about to. A lot of people don't know, but it's the highest level, whatever it is, this is for you. Highest level job, highest level commitment highest level person knight of wands it does scare you it makes you nervous oh because it's an emperor emperor divine masculine with the empress ten of swords you've given probably this person a shot before and i feel like you're giving them one more chance in virgo season hermit but that's what everyone doesn't know i feel like you're giving maybe someone that you used to date or be with or talk to or whatever an old job that you used to work at something that you used to be a part of you're like i'm gonna give it one more shot something like that five of cups but in order to do so you have to let go of yeah the eight of swords the self-sabotage the what did they say in the past yep and you just have to move on you have to move on wheel of fortune six of cups you have to move on from the past oh four of wands and the page of cups came out with the full card this is going to be um, a commitment for you strength card hermit uh, you could be a uh, talking to someone that is on the Virgo Leo cusp. Page of Wands, getting to know someone there, giving someone another chance. And if it's not someone in particular, I feel like you're actually committing to someone 
or coming into a high level commitment with someone who reminds you of someone of your past. And I think that's what the, the hang up is. But when you really look at it at the end of the day, you have an emperor here, not even a king. And an emperor is a collection of all the kings. So you have someone on a higher level that's more mature, that's more worth it. Do you know what I mean? A higher ranking, higher regard, right? Very good. Yeah, I definitely still feel like you're saying yes to something, closing down a cycle that doesn't belong to you anymore. There's a lot of secrecy here for you, but I feel like it's because you know um, to play this situation very carefully, okay? I hope that helped. I love y'all. If there's anyone else still here, I'll see you in the love reading next time. Bye.